Hello and welcome to my August update. I would like to talk about supporting our members, uh, mental health, diversity, inclusion, and some key activities around sustainability and the Singapore government. As the current situation around COVID continues to evolve, we've been reaching out to get your feedback and have been filtering sentiment and thought back to the authorities here and um, who have been really, really helpful and have been really engaging with the chamber. Um, we continue to update our COVID hub, which contains all of the latest updates as a central resource with information, news and the changes in restrictions. So please do check that out if you haven't been aware of that. It feels like it's been another long year and with pandemic fatigue really being a thing, um, the Chamber team had a meeting free week this month to catch up, but also to give the team some time back as we run through the last half of 2021. We really do care about our people, so thank you for your support and allowing us to have a slightly quieter week as we gather everything for the rest of the year. Our core themes remain the future of trade, the future of work, diversity and inclusion, education and learning and sustainability. And it's with great news that we've launched our DNI Hub this month, a fantastic resource for businesses to support your DNI activities. Please do check it out. And thank you so much to our committees, in particular our DNI committee and our Women in Business committee, who have driven this key development. It wouldn't have been possible without you and members in that committee, and it also wouldn't have been possible without the support of Barclays, who are our DNI sponsors. So a huge thank you to all of you involved. It's a really great resource. We have some exciting engagements coming up following our virtual fireside chat with the Right Honourable Penny Mordaunt MP, which includes a Leaders in Business lunch next month with the Minister for Sustainability and the Environment, Minister Grace Fu, a dialogue with members of the Singapore Parliament around sustainability and a session with Dr Tan Si Leng, Minister of Manpower as well. Some brilliant engagements coming up, connecting businesses with policy and creating further networks. We are also nearing our annual business awards, which are coming up in October, with our finalists having been announced. Congratulations to all businesses and individuals who are on the shortlist for the awards. Please do join us as we celebrate the very best in business success in the next few months as well. Finally, as we anticipate things starting to open up, um, we are working on models to ensure that our members, our committees, our partners and our wider stakeholders remain as connected as possible to the Chamber. And we look forward to being able to host you in a face-to-face -face session in the not too distant future. If there's anything me or the team can do, please don't hesitate to get in touch and we look forward to supporting you and your business.